So when we're talking about acetylglutathione, there are a few things that I think you should know and just keep in mind. Like if I had to start acetyl all over again, which for those of you who don't know, I tried acetyl a little bit in 2019, like the tail end of 2019 before I switched to liposomal. And then I did it for, I think three and a half months uh, this year in 2021. And, um, well, actually, no, not in 2021. It was um, the end of 2020 into 2021 before switching back to just like the uh, reduced glutathione. And so with the acetyl, I think most of the brands that I've tried, like I liked, um, I didn't have an issue with the brand. What I had an issue was with was like my dosage. I really thought that I could get away with just like 100 milligrams of acetyl is 1000 milligrams of glutathione. And honestly, it didn't like work out that way for me, I noticed. Um, I was taking 600 milligrams thinking that the 600 milligrams was going to be 6,000 milligrams of uh, like reduced glutathione. So I thought 600 milligrams of acetyl was going to be 6,000. So it's funny because right now I'm on only like 4,000 milligrams of reduced glutathione and my results were more like my skin got more vibrant with just that with like doing the reduced glutathione um, syringe versus when I was on 600 milligrams of acetyl. So that's why like, I don't, I don't feel like it's, it's true. The 100 to 1000 ratio, like I just don't believe it anymore because I did it and I was like my, I got results, but they weren't as quick. So if I had to do it again, what I would do is um, take at least close to a thousand, if not over a thousand of acetyl, which that's gonna be, you know, quite a bit of pills. <laughs> um, it is kind of expensive depending on what brand you get. And so it's, it might be one of those things where you have to get like one bottle of acetyl every like 14 to 15 days if you're trying to take like such a large dose like that. Um, so it just really depends on what your budget is. If you can budget that in, then I think you're gonna get amazing results. If not, then don't do it. <laughs> but for me personally, I would not go back to the 600 milligrams a day. What I would do though is the 600 milligrams a day of acetyl, I would do that to maintain. So after I got to, you know, my target goal, I would do that. Um, like I said, right now on 4,000, I'm not on a very aggressive dosage. So for those of you who want like quick results, I would definitely go over 6,000 milligrams. And um, if you can like do like 12,000 milligrams, that's the most I've ever taken of glutathione a day. Um, and that was like back in uh, 2019 into 2020. So I haven't been on that large of a dose since, but I was, I felt really happy with my skin. Like I was, yeah, just constantly looking at it. And, um, but by that time when I was taking that large of a dose, I had already been on glutathione for like over six months. And then I just got excited that things were starting to change. So I was just like, let's go, <laughs> let's floor this. And, um, I did. So yeah, right now at 4,000, I feel like, um, a lot of you who are starting out, I don't feel like you're going to be satisfied completely. Um, yeah, for me, it's like, it's kind of going slow, but I can see the changes, but it's not as quick as I know it can be. Um, so that's why I just, I recommend everyone, if you're starting out on reduced glutathione, to do at least 5,000 to 6,000 starting out. And if you're going to do acetyl, I highly recommend taking more than just 600 milligrams. Um, you know, I haven't tried all of the acetyl brands. I've only tried two different brands of acetyl glutathione, so... Um, you know, there, there might be one that might be better than the others, but of the ones that I was taking, I, I just felt like I should have been taking more of it. So with vitamin C and acetyl, when I was taking the 600 milligrams, I was still taking a couple thousand milligrams of the vitamin C. Before I was, uh, taking a whole lot more, I think I was taking like 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C, but then I started having like the bruising really, really easily. So that's why like I scaled it back to like, right now I'm taking like 2,500 milligrams of vitamin C, but I'm actually about to scale it back up to see if there's a change in like the vibrancy of my skin. Um, for the most part, everything is pretty even colored. Um, well, I mean, like the tops of my arms are still like much darker than like, let's say like my hands. I don't know. Since I'm wearing white on camera right now, the white is gonna like change the color. But if, if you just see the color from here, Like, well, you guys can see. I feel like that is a different color versus this. I don't know if it's really gonna show up, I mean, like that well, but in person, I can see the difference a lot. So, 
you know, with cameras, like things get kind of distorted. It's just sometimes it can be the time of day that I film. Sometimes it's the color of shirt I'm wearing. Um, but yeah, in, in person, it just it looks different. But anyways, everything is pretty even. But uh, like I said, I just I want to play around with it just to figure out, OK, is microdosing vitamin C really that beneficial or not? Um, I think I mentioned in the other video that majority of the people who are taking um, like mega dosing glutathione for like one or two years they're all also mega dosing vitamin C and those are the people who have had success with this so I'm kind of just trying something new just to see if like what I can get away with but at the same time when you're experimenting sometimes it can kind of put you back in your own skincare journey and um, yeah so if I notice a difference over these next few weeks of taking uh, going back up to a larger dose of vitamin C then I know for sure that we should all be taking a larger dose but like I said I was just I was bruising so easily and that's why I initially stopped taking over 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C and um, of course the bruising stops when I did so I know that taking such a large dose is why I was bruising so easily so it's just really up to you but um, yeah the jury's still out on how much vitamin C you should be taking with glutathione so as of now let's just go play by the book everyone says just take equal amounts of vitamin c to glutathione or take a little bit more of vitamin c so for acetyl if you would be taking 600 milligrams of acetyl let's pretend that 600 milligrams of acetyl is 6,000 milligrams of reduced glutathione and just go ahead and take the 6,000 milligrams of vitamin c along with that 600 of acetyl hopefully that makes sense to you guys um also, for those of you who are doing the reduced glutathione method, I was, it was recommended to me to um, try the glutathione rectal syringe without adding the baking soda to it. Um, someone said that once she stopped doing that, like her results like started speeding up like right away. So she thinks that the um, the baking soda was actually making it weaker. And so, um, you know, I tried it last night, and um, the only downside of it is that raw glutathione in itself when you're not neutralizing it with the baking soda it is kind of irritating for such like you know a special sensitive area <laughs> special i don't know about special but sensitive area so um like no one wants their bum hole on fire <laughs> but um it, it was a little uncomfortable so i can see myself if i'm going to do it and i i cut my dose in half last night because that's how scared i was of this being too strong without putting any baking soda in it so what i did is i just took 2000 milligrams and it was still you know there's quite some tingling back there but i got through it also i was able to leave it in even longer than i am able to leave in the baking soda and glutathione mixture which she had also said that she had she was able to retain it longer too so it's like okay so it's gonna tingle a little more it's gonna feel you know a little uncomfortable but at the same time i'm able to leave it in longer it doesn't like stimulate you to go right away um and there wasn't as much gas or anything like that so as far as if it's stronger we're gonna see like i said last night was just like night one so i'm just i'm testing it out right now um of course today i have to make up for it i have to take an extra dose so i'll take 2000 more since last night i only did 2000 because i was scared and what i'm going to do to combat the it being so irritating is i'm just going to add more water to it so instead of doing um like this much water that's in that little 10 milliliter um, syringe i'm probably going to fill up the entire syringe with water and if i need to fill it up halfway again so do a syringe and a half of water then i will um just to help tone it down a little bit because like i said no one needs to be walking around like their bum is on fire, so. But that's that. 